Welcome to another episode of my sewing technique tutorials. I've noticed there is one technique I use the most out of all my refashions, which is shown in all these before and afters, where I cut up the dress at the waist to make separate bodice on the skirt, then gathering the skirt and sewing it back on. So, I decided to show you a tutorial on how to do this. Hope you find it helpful. I do this a lot for my refashion, so I thought I'd make a separate tutorial on how to gather the skirt to sew it back on. See, that is the top. That's the width of that top versus the width of the skirt. So I need to bunch the skirt together so that it will be the same width as the top. So in order to do that, we are going to sew the ends on stitch length 5. It is also called basting stitch. And then I'll tell you how to gather. I sew it stitch length 5 all the way to the end. And then you leave the strings. You don't cut them yet. You leave the strings. And I'll tell you why. First, you want to change the stitch length to 5. That's usually the biggest one that they offer. With this, it's important to not back stitch. Because you want the threads to be loose. So that you can pull it out. This is about half an inch right here. That's how much I usually do it. Half an inch is good. Let me see if I can sew while the video camera is right in front of me. <laughs> okay. So, remember no back stitching. You just sew it all the way. And the speed does go pretty fast, so if that makes you nervous, you can just lower your speed setting if you have one or just press the pedals slowly. I'm going to speed it up cuz I like I want it done. And I've done it enough where I'm pretty confident in basting stitching. Whoa. Okay. That's too fast. <laughs> Not that confident. Lifted it so the pleat faces that way. So I don't sew it over this way. So it's this way. Then we are near the end. And make sure you do not backstitch on this side as well. Just pull it up, make sure there's enough threads, then you cut, leaving some thread length behind. Get one side, it doesn't matter which side it is, left or right side, it does not matter. So I have the right side because that's where I ended it on. So you pull one of the strings. You know how you have the top stitching and the back stitching thread? It doesn't matter if you pull the back or the top. Just out of habit, I always usually just pull the top. You pull one, so you leave that alone. You pull it, and then you gather on the other side. And then pull. You gather a little bit more. So you hold on to this, pull the string so it gathers the fabric, and then pull. Make sure you pull it the farther you go, all the way to the other side, so that it's gathered evenly. Let me see if I gathered enough. So this is the end, and then this is the end. Oh, I did too much, so no big deal. You just grab one side, and then make sure you loosen it. Make sure the gathers are distributed evenly. If you have some threads that came loose, so it's just all flat right here, you can go over the stitch length 5 again and baste stitch here, just right there and no back stitching, and then gather. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Since this part became loose, I'm going to base stitch again. Five. 
and make sure that when you're going over you're not going directly over the thread of the previous stitching because if you do do that then it won't gather because it'll get stuck so I have my needle can you guys see I have my needle a little bit to the left of the regular thread so that it doesn't go over you can either do on the right side or the left side it doesn't matter but just make sure that it doesn't go on top of the same stitch so it misses it by barely make sure you don't back stitch cut it for one of the strings there you go gathers everywhere lay the skirt on top of the bodice right sides together so right side means the part that you're, the people are going to see when you wear it. So this is the right side of the skirt. This is the right side of the top. So lay on top so the right sides are touching each other. And then you can pin it and, make, and just sew all the way around. And make sure the end seam of the skirt matches the top and also this side as well. I'm going to pin. So the very end part won't be gathered, it will just be straight because this is not supposed to be gathered, it's supposed to be straight. If there's some parts that are not really gathered because it was the end of the, um, the stitch, the ends usually don't get gathered well, then you can just gather with your hands a little bit and then pin it. Actually, gonna do this side. Okay, so it's all evenly pinned. And then you just sew. All the way, and this time you back stitch, and also on stitch length 2.5. Now you want to go back to stitch length 2.5, and this time you want to back stitch. And you can sew over the pins, they say, but I always take it off because one time I did that, and it hit right where the pin was and broke the needle. So, I like to take it out right before. And if you look super close, some, you can see the stitch length 5 seams, so you just pull those out. You don't need that anymore because the gathers are in place with the stitch length 2.5, so you just, <clears throat> it's really easy to pull out since it was like big length stitches. And you're done! Do you feel like this tutorial helps you to feel more confident in tackling the gathering of the skirt? And would you like to see more of these one technique how-to tutorials? Let me know in the comments below and see you next time!